everybody, welcome to the Mac Life Show. I'm Flo, and today I'm going to show you how to put an SSD inside your MacBook Pro. Roll the music! So the new MacBook Pros might be getting faster, but that doesn't mean that your old machine has to lag behind. You can give it the performance boost it needs by just simply swapping out a couple of components. So today, I'm going to show you how to take out that platter-based drive and put in an SSD. So before we get started, you'll need to secure the following. Um, obviously, you'll need a drive to replace the old drive with. Today, we're going to be using the Seagate Momentus XT. Um, it's actually a hybrid drive, but it's the same size as any standard old 2.5 inch hard drive that fits into your MacBook, so this will do just fine. You'll also need a Phillips PH triple O screwdriver, which is actually the smallest one that you can find. Usually it comes with a precision screwdriver set. You'll also need a couple of applications like carbon copy cloner to copy over your drive. And you'll need a hard drive enclosure if you're actually planning on duplicating the drive and not just starting over from scratch with Lion. You'll also want to secure a couple of cups to put the screws in and make sure that you're going to do this whole operation on a static free table of some sort, so that means no fabric, no carpet, keep it away because you might do something really bad if you don't. So before you start this project, make sure you gave ample time for your MacBook to cool down after usage. Now you're going to want to take the Phillips screwdriver for this and unscrew the screws around the frame of the MacBook on the bottom part, and then we're going to lift off the top portion. After you've unscrewed everything, just carefully take off the bottom part and place it aside and you'll be left with the very revealing innards of your MacBook. So before you actually take out the hard drive, you might want to disconnect the battery before doing anything, just in case of static shock. Now there's plenty of resources online to do this because every MacBook is different, but iFixit's probably the best one to go to to figure out what kind of battery connection your MacBook has. So, <clears throat> After you've unscrewed the four screws around the frame of the hard drive, you take out the little plastic thingy that holds it in. And there's a flap where you can easily pull out the hard drive. You're going to want to do so carefully because it's actually connected with a SATA cable. Now to take it out, all you have to do is very easily pop off the SATA cable. And there you go. It's nice and empty. So now we're going to put in the SSD. Putting the SSD in is its just like taking it out. Just simply pop on the SAG cable. Carefully reseat it inside. And screw everything back in. For more how-tos on how to swap out your stuff and boost up your Mac, make sure to check out MacLife Magazine and MacLife.com.